Look, I zero here. And today we're doing how to play Yink. Now Yink is full. It's one of the best talent by far is Life Strange. What Life Strange does is when you shut the news, it heals for 800 instead of destroying the illusions. Uh, what you do is if you L2 on your controller, if you haven't rebound it, do anything. Yeah. And I think that's the best talent to get a show off the uh, best ability even. You see, 800 healing, but 5 seconds cooldown. It where it would normally be a 4 second cooldown, but because of life exchange, increasing it to a 5. And if green cat is back, and place a decoy, you can see that the decoy is healing him for a bit as well. And these decoys do do quite a bit. And it's actually on the life is your next talent. It's just dimensional link. Uh, basically what Dimensional Link does is it allows you to teleport to where your last decoy was. If none are up, it will basically just go to where the last decoy was anyway. But if the decoy's up, you can choose where you go. So I'll place this one there and wait for the, wait for the cooldown to go down. If you place one there, I can choose to go there or there. Okay, I, I waited too long to show that off, but yeah, basically I was gonna go on here as well. <laughs> uh, another thing, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, her uh, ultimate now, and you can get it heals as well, and it's quite a big heal. But it can also teleport, it also actually affects dimensional link, which means you can now teleport to your teammates as well, which is actually pretty neat. There's like, in you can get there and use life stranger and quickly if you need to or you can take your game to save yourself to get out of if you are in a tight situation yeah that's our abilities and talents and i don't know what they <laughs> it's so normal Ten, on the healer nine, after they get chrono however seven, you get morale boost six, really five uh, morale four, boost three really two help that her one good by itself anyway it's so it time also, she doesn't really have any real cooldowns, so there isn't that much point of getting Alright, alright, alright. Relax! But... Yeah, but basically, she's all uh, about. Okay, who was holding W? Decoys in a good position. Illusions, I guess. Decoys. Uh, she's all about positioning, really. You must wait to use that. Uh, her decoys do auto lock on to people. So that does help your healing, like you don't actually have to work on it. But, and it will also lock onto the person on the lowest amount of health as well. Which also has that. The only thing is, she doesn't have that good crowd healing. So, so try and focus on one person. Also, you have to aim at L2 to get that 800 healing burst. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, lovely. Also, when you take damage of her, don't be afraid. Like, don't panic. But like, just pay attention to where your decoys are or where the last place your decoy is. And as long as you know where that was, you shouldn't really be in any trouble. You should be able to teleport back to where it was. As long as you have the thing up, your dimensional link up, which will basically get you out of jail more times than not. Uh, also, don't try and go for damage unless it's a good opportunity to go for it. As we're going to be focused on healing because the damage output is quite bad. Um, that was the trick about Harry. You can actually move her decoy as a shield. And well, I hardly do that because it pushes situational or when you actually do it. Yeah, it's pretty situational when you actually will be using this decoy as a shield. You can do it it's pretty easy. Also, the decoys do go to you. 
that the Jigsaw will do as well. So you can use them for two weeks if you can't get out of combat. But yeah, she's a bit more about hiding. She's a bit, she's a bit about hiding, just getting rid of placement, things like that. And also, like I said before, that's two try and get her ultimate. You can use your teammate as a out and damage as well. Which is actually pretty nice. And I've only just thought of this, you can technically use a decoy to shield other people as well. That's a job. And that's definitely totally on me. Into the light. It yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of other things about really. Um, yeah, I think that's an example little of why you don't really go for damage. Like, I thought I'm going damage again. <laughs> Right. The damage output is quite low. And so I think you're gonna struggle. Bit really. Well, that anyway. Yeah, so it's something you should really remember about Ying is to One can never hate enough, ain't Actually I'll do it I'll play that after this the top player could send the SOS. So the main thing to remember about Yang is she's really all about placement of where you put her decoys and when you put her herself, but where you place yourself. And uh, her damage is terrible, so just it's almost not even worth trying to try and get killed. But I know I did there, but it's GDM. Uh, the other thing obviously is that Yash, that is the illusions do lock on and they lock on automatically and you have to aim the L2 at least on them so it doesn't be perfectly accurate with it but yeah you have to be slightly accurate with it and we're just going to miss some better the ability but yeah that's how to play Ying remember to like and subscribe and peace